What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. My name is Max Tuning and today I'm going to go over five simple, easy peasy ways to get your favorite clothing items or your brands or whatever for cheaper than you probably are already paying. These are simple tips and you might know a couple of them, but some of you don't, so I'm going to help at least one person out there. I have a lot of clothing items, whether it be accessories or shoes or jackets or whatever, and probably 90% of them plus I have paid less than retail, right? I have over 20 button down shirts, including this one, and I have paid retail full price zero times. <laughs> I've gotten two shirts that were gifts that they paid full price, and I'm like, why did you do this? Uh, but I refuse to pay like 90 plus dollars for a damn button down shirt. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Cool intro with music that no one ever comments about or notices that I do. Start the video. My first tip will be to buy items when they're about to go out of season. And mainly I use this on jackets. I'm a big advocate of that I don't think you should ever not purchase an item because you can't wear it right away. So I've purchased many of my jackets in the, in the heat of summer or like right when it's about to go into summer when these stores are trying to get these items off of their shelf to make room for the t-shirts and the shorts or whatever. And you can buy these at discounted prices because they want to move them, right? So just because you, you, know, you can buy this jacket and you're like, I'm not going to wear this for like two or three months, it doesn't matter. You got a badass, good looking jacket for a good deal. And then when winter time comes around, you're like, hey, that cool jacket I bought for really cheap, I'm gonna wear that now. So the first tip, buy stuff when it's about to go out of season. My second tip will be to buy things on the internet. And now this can be a little scary because a lot of different companies will have different sizings for their shirts or their pants, but generally you can return stuff for free. But the internet is a great place, not only for YouTube videos, but for clothing stores because there's generally always some sort of discount. And whenever you buy anything on the website or you know the internet in general, you should always go to Google, type in that store, and type in discount code at the end because most of the times if there's a section at checkout for enter promo code or discount, code, there's probably some sort of code you can find to save free shipping or 10 or 15% off somewhere out there on the internet. Also, because these stores don't have to have you know a physical brick and mortar location, their prices will be a little bit cheaper or they'll have internet only special deals. So don't always think you need to go into stores to buy an item. Buy stuff online, it's generally going to be cheaper and there'll be free returns so you can always buy multiple sizes of you know, a shirt or something and then return the one that doesn't fit. I've done that many times. Tip number three will be find your local outlet mall. A lot of people don't even know that these exist. They just think that, you know, J. Crew is J. Crew, Ralph Lauren is Ralph Lauren. They have factory outlet stores and the great thing about this is not only will all these maybe higher end name brand stores such as your J. Crew or your Brooks Brothers or your fratty stuff like me, but these stores will all be in one concise location is their discounted prices. And the main reason for that is going to be because it is going to be out of season items. Like when I talked about the jackets, you know, the stores that are directly selling them, they want to move that product so they put them in these outlet stores and they will be cheaper. Or maybe it's last season's colors or last season's, you know, patterns or whatever. There's going to be a ton of items at these outlet stores. There's going to be a ton of stores that you already love and it's going to be all in one location. They're all going to be discounted prices. You can get a ton of great stuff for great deals. I have purchased so many things at outlet malls. That's actually mainly where I buy a lot of my button downs because I'll I take a whole day shopping, I'll go to all these different stores and I'll pick up a bunch of different items for a hell of a lot cheaper than if I actually went to the local Brooks Brothers. All right, for number four, it's kind of a piggyback off number three. So we talked about the outlet malls. Now the next thing I like to go to, which again, I've purchased a lot of stuff from, is gonna be discount stores. And the ones that I'm talking about are gonna be your Nordstrom Rack, your TJ Maxx, your Marshalls. And these are very similar to outlets because they will have a lot of items that are maybe out of season, but also sometimes they can have defective products and it'll be very, very minor defects that you won't care about. Maybe like a, a hole in the tag or the tag's not on or something very, very small, right? That you won't personally care about, but the company cannot sell at their main stores and they don't get rid of it. So they push them to these stores. It's going to be a huge discount. And what's great about not only outlets, but also these discount stores like the TJ Maxx is I would recommend you go visit these once a week if you can, or maybe once a month, or maybe twice a month or something, because new stock is always rolling in, especially you go to like Nordstrom Rack or something, they're gonna have different shoes every single time you go. These are fantastic ways to save a ton of money and still get these name brand products that you want. Obviously, there's a million places you could go and get, you know, not the name brand and spend not as much money, but if you want these 
Polo, if you want this Brooks Brothers, if you want Cole Hans and Clarks and everything, but you don't want to pay full price, these discount stores are going to be great and they're going to have a continuously you know, revolving inventory where you never know what you might get. <laughs> Forrest Gump. That is tip number four, discount stores. And for tip number five, and this might be the most obvious of all, but that is to just simply use your damn brain and look for discounts, look for ways to make the product cheaper. What I mean by this is a lot of companies, I know like Ralph Lauren does it, you sign up for their mailing list and they will literally mail you a 15% discount card you can use in the outlet stores or you can use in the main stores. Um, you know, you go into the store and you just ask, hey, are there any discounts? Are there any sales going on? A lot of times they won't mention these, you know, out front because they want people to pay the most amount of money, but we don't want to pay the most amount of money. We want to pay the cheapest, right? Um, another thing you can do is a lot of these stores will offer military discounts or student discounts. If you're a student, use them at your J. Cruz, use them at your Ralph Lauren's, at your Brooks Brothers. There's generally like a student or a military discount everywhere you go. If you're not a student or you weren't in the military, then maybe grab your friend who is in school or has a student ID or whatever. Take them with you, right? Be like, hey, you want to go get some Chipotle? We're just going to swing into this Brooks Brothers and hey, I'd like you to ring this up. I'll Venmo you because I want this 15% discount. There's always ways to save money. So that's my number five tip is to always find ways to get discounts on items because they are always out there, my friend. So that will conclude the video. I know that a lot of these tips seem like common sense, but a lot of people just simply do not know this information and I'm trying to reach, you know, even just one person and help them out and help you guys save money because I've been buying clothes for many years and I hate spending tons of money if I don't have to. There are some items that it's hard to find a discount on. If it's a specialty item, you might need to pay full price. But for most of the things you own, button downs, pants, there's ways to save money. So maybe some people didn't know that TJ Maxx sells you know, name brand stuff or you didn't know that they kind of cycle out new products. You can go in your Nordstrom Rack and you can buy belts. You don't, you don't need to go to these name brand stores and pay full price because there are always ways to save money. These companies would ra rather have a little bit of your money than none of your money, so they will always try to find a way to let you save money if you know what you're doing. Thank you guys for watching the video. A lot of cool stuff coming soon, some more fashion hauls, maybe some lookbooks, right? Some cool stuff. Thank you again. I will see you later.